Team Nigeria has continued to rake in medals at the ongoing Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, United Kingdom. The team, as of Tuesday night, has two gold and two bronze uh, medals won in uh, weightlifting. The team also has a silver. Sports journalist Omodia Okelebi joins us via Skype from Lagos for more discussion. Good morning, Omodia. Good morning. Thank you for having me this morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so, Omodia, walk us through the, the, Commonwealth, the ongoing Commonwealth Games. I see, I see Team Nigeria is performing very well. Yeah, uh, you can say that uh, Team Nigeria is doing very well now. Um, we started with the weight, weight lifting, just like you uh, stated in your opening, that we have uh, some medals, you know, at the ongoing uh, Commonwealth Games. But uh, it has doubled now. We have uh, two gold medals now, so we have eight medals in total now. We have three gold medals. Um, we have uh, also four bronze medals now and one silver medal. And the silver medal came in uh, yesterday afternoon when I will lie the, a 20-year-old lifter proud. So um, we are picking up the medals, but we still need uh, we still need to do more because uh, the um, at Omodia Omodia All right, so um, I just wanted to ask usually when we go to oh, competitions like this um, there's this um, there's this feeling that um, we have there are traditional sports that Nigeria is always very good at. We, we used to have boxing and, of course, the weightlifting um, at a particular point, but then it, it, it went south, but now we're coming back again. There's always this um, thinking that we should try as much as possible to diversify the sports that we participate in so that we can have a higher hope of getting more medals. I mean, like we have um, swimming, we have um, the field events most especially. Uh, but I see we are doing very yeah. good and in, 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 in discuss now, but, but still, we should, there's, there's this call for us to actually diversify into into other sports and where, where, what's your take on that yeah i i, I think I to, uh, we had uh, um you know good boxers very very strong on in boxing but uh it has not been the case it hasn't been the case lately i think we still have to go back to the grassroots you know uh, picking these boxers from the street you know and uh, giving them the right coaching and everything. It still has to do with a lot of coaching and administration. We need to get that right uh, to get them from the street. We have a lot of talent. I will always beat my chest for that. Nigeria has got talent in every sport, name it basketball, wrestling, you know, but uh, we are only participating in nine sports, nine sports at the ongoing Commonwealth Games. Uh, and, uh, and Nigeria is a strong country representing Africa, aside, aside South Africa, who are ahead of us uh, with about, they have five gold medals now. I think we are the best African side in terms of representation at the ongoing Commonwealth Games. In fact, the last games, Gold Coast Australia, we, we had eight gold medals. We have three gold medals now as sat yesterday night the event will start athletics starts by 10 30 a.m this morning so like you said uh, we need to double on all others on other sports ex boxing i know we had you know, uh, very good boxers in the past but as it stands now we we'll concentrate with the sports that we are putting in now at the come again why why what do you, will you say is the is responsible for the way Nigeria performs in weightlifting. Is it because we have facilities for training within, or is it because people in that particular sport train more? Why, why does it look like we do very well in weightlifting more than other sports? Okay, uh, here's my take on that. You know, uh, the federations, um, federations, they have uh, sometimes I would say the round pegs and the round hole. Now, 
It has to do with administration. Remember, I said that a while ago. It has to do with administration. When when you have president and the board, you know, taking care of these players or these athletes, making sure they get the right testing, you know, no doping, in, and making sure they go for competitions in Africa, rub shoulders with the best. And so when into competitions like this, they are not. They are exposed already to the best competing with us to do better. I give you an instance. In wrestling federation now, uh, wrestlers got into uh, Birmingham, uh, I think yesterday, yesterday morning, morning, because the wrestling event will start this this weekend. And I'm expecting a lot of medal from the wrestling event. Now, remember, the wrestling federation has a former wrestler as the president. In, in the person of uh, 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 Daniel Nigali, was a former world champion in wrestling. Now, he knows the passion. He knows how to express um, himself to the players because athletes, because he was once there. He knows to motivate them. He knows the right to say. You know, that counts for something because you have a round peg in the road. Now, I'm not saying that if you're in the shooting federation, you must be uh, someone that under the gun before. That's not what I'm saying, but we need federation who have, you know, passion for the sport, just their interest alone. So these players can really benefit. I think that's what's happening with the weightlifters now, because they've given us five medals. At the eight medals we have now, they have given five. So kudos to the president of the Nigerian Weightlifting Federation. All right, so one sport that I actually want to see Nigeria doing very well in, because I think that's where a lot of these medals are. You just talked about South Africa earlier and, and their medals hall, and I believe the bulk of their medals come from this particular sport. I'm talking about swimming right now. There are loads of medals to actually be won in swimming, and Nigeria doesn't seem, is a sport that we don't, we don't seem to be taking seriously. Is there any particular reason to that? And it's not that we don't have the facilities or I don't believe we don't have the talent for, for swimming, but why, is, why, why are we so lackluster when it comes to, 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 to participating in swimming events? Yeah, um, well, uh, it's not a very uh, popular sport, I, I would like to say that, but that doesn't mean that we don't have swimmers, though uh, in the past 10 months now we've been getting I've been seeing, uh, you know, coaching clinics in swimming for underage. They're trying to rebuild now because the Swimming Federation, I must confess, they are not doing well. We have, we have swimmers from Niger Delta, where we have, you know, rivers from the south, south. We have good swimmers, but you know, it's not just, you know, it's not just to know how to swim. There are techniques to this. I think what we do is to get the right coaches for swimming. And when you are doing the breaststroke now, it's not just about swimming, but there's a technique to it. You are doing the butterfly, you are doing the backstroke. There's also the relays in swimming. So all these, all these categories need proper coaching. And how do you start? You cannot, you can hardly develop a 30-year-old swimmer who's from the Niger Delta, you know, but you have to go back to the young ones and teach them to grow with this techniques of how to swim and make it a sport not just recreation make swimming a sport i know the technique i think that's where we're missing it now so first of all we're coaching in swimming the we need the right administration uh, administration and third we need exposure exposure for these swimmers we have but they are they're not exposed yet i think that's the reason why we are uh, in swimming, but it's a sport that we are looking out for now because I see only a lot of uh, clinics going on now in different parts of uh, uh, the South South where they are trying to coach young children how to swim. So, hopefully, the coming years we will be getting, uh, you know, good swimmers to represent Naya. Oh yeah, give us uh, your projection before the end of the games. How do you see us getting more medals? Well, uh, I do uh, like the rest. Uh, like I talked about wrestling. I like the wrestling federation. Uh, I'm just going to uh, sound uh, like a 
broken record now. There, uh, blessing Oboro Dudu was also um, one of the team captains in the uh, team Nigeria. Is a holder since 2010, winning gold at the Everest Championship uh, for 10 years now, from 2012 to 2022. You know, so yes, and she is also the defend champion in her category the last time at the gold coast australia commonwealth games she won gold see us winning more medals in the sling event and also not forgetting our girls that did us proud at the um the uh, ship in oregon us uh, toby amushon uh, and uh, the other fc brume the long jumper so i feel toby amushon should be able to give us gold She's not under any pressure. She's champion now. The first Nigerian to win a gold medal in the World Athletics Championship. So I see we still have medals in wrestling category. We still have medals in uh, and the other wrestlers. We have qualified. In fact, to this favor, Ashe, uh, Raymond, and Godson Ogene all qualified for of the 100 meters event um, in the athletics. That's the, then we also have the four by 100. Uh, although, unfortunately, Favor Philly uh, tested positive for, 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 for COVID. So she's not going to participate. Another lady to replace her. And also, uh, the table tennis event, Aruna Quadri, uh, in the individual event. So, also, um, in the third place playoff, so we didn't get any medal in the team sport for table tennis, but individual, I don't know, I think at least the single tennis, but I'm very particular about weight, uh, about wrestling and athletics. We should get more medals. Good to get more medals in the Commonwealth uh, Games. Well, Omodia Okelebe, it's very nice having you on the program and thank you very much for those insights on sports.